everyone. How's it going? Um, I'm going to do kind of like a video response to one of my favorite YouTubers, um, which is Leah Mouse. I highly recommend her. I have the link to her two channels below. Uh, she's somebody I've been watching for quite a while right now, and I think you'll enjoy her if you've never seen her. And please subscribe to her and tell her you came from my channel. I think she'll really appreciate it. I know she's been looking for some uh, new new people and some new viewers. So, anyway, um, she did a great video about her paranormal experiences. And the reason why I decided that I would do a vlog on the or vlog on this is because I've actually had some of my own. Um, there's a couple that really stick out in my mind. One of them happened when I was basically around, just I just turned six years old. And this was during the Easter holiday. Now, my grandfather sadly passed away the day before my birthday. And because it was Holy Week, we had to keep him in the funeral home for about five days. And oh boy, that was, that was nuts. During that time, my mother ended up lose, having laryngitis. And that day we were going to the funeral home is really where things had happened. Um, we were, my mom had told me that throughout the day she would be smelling certain cells that she related to my grandfather. One of them was his cologne. And she thought that he was playing around or something like that. But in her mind, because the death was so sudden, she wanted a sign that my grandfather was happy that he was at peace and one of her favorite smells was roses so i guess throughout the day she was doing errands with my uh, grandmother or for her um i guess she started smelling certain smells but it really didn't happen until we were going to actually go to the funeral home my mom my dad and myself all together so i'm sitting in the back seat my parents are in the front seat and my Father, I guess, had made a mention, and I don't remember some of this, but my mom told me the, some other parts of the story, so I can, I, I, everything comes together. Um, I guess my father had mentioned that it started to smell like a flower shop in our car, and we didn't think nothing of it. At least about halfway to the funeral home, out of nowhere, we smelled this strong smell of roses. Like somebody had sprayed, suddenly sprayed rose perfume inside. My dad's checking my mom. Nope, she doesn't have any perfume. Nope, he doesn't have any cologne. And as soon as we got to the funeral home, it disappeared. And basically, that was the sign my mother was looking for. Now, roses are interesting. That rose smell is kind of interesting because those have always been a warning sign to me to be careful that something's going to happen. And that has been the case actually a few times already in my life. It happened to me when I was in Korea before certain questionable things happened. So my grandfather, in a way, has always protected me. Okay, so there's something that could ha that that that's enough. That's one of those. Um, I know they often say that when spirits appear to you, or maybe like somebody in your life who's died appears to you even in a dream, that means they're asking for prayers and they're asking, you know, just just to be recognized, if you will. So perhaps if you have gone through something like that in your life, that might be something as well. Now, the cologne smell that is also associated with my grandfather, I actually have had experiences like that before in my life too. Generally, when that has come through, it's because it's something good. And one of them was when I finished my um, TESOL uh, degree, actually certificate in Korea. And I was with my friends and it was like right on my right, well, right, well, right shoulder. No, actually left shoulder, if you will. And it was a smell of cologne. Like he was patting me on the back. Now, when I mentioned it to my friends, they, they, they kind of freaked out about it. But that was always the, hey, you did a good job sign or thumbs up sign. Now, I've also had the smell of a certain perfume that my grandmother would used to wear. And when I was in college getting my bachelor's degree, a really interesting thing happened. I was working at the, um, I was working at the computer at, at this writing Macintosh writing computer lab at the time, and there was always this one particular spot I'd go to, and it was this very strong perfumey smell, and it was right near the printers. Every time I walked by there, it was just like in this one spot. 
So I talked to someone who I was friends with at the time. I told her what was going on. And she told me that that was my grandmother who was kind of sending a warning to me about my mom. Now, around this time, my mom was going through some tremendous stress through her job that she had at the time. Uh, basically, she was working for a pharmaceutical company, and she was doing medical billing and things like that. And she was having a rough time with one of her bosses. So I had contacted my mother and said, well, do you know anybody in the family that used to wear perfume? And I kept, and I guess I got the message that there's some kind of warning to watch out, etc. And my mom confirmed it, and she said, you know what? And basically, things were happening with my mom. She got so stressed that every time we would have email exchanges, it was almost as if, like, she, it, it's like she was becoming a different person. And I told her I noticed it, and I was explaining what was going on. Well, something must have broke because not too long after that, my mom eventually quit that job because things were just getting so bad there. But two and two together... There you go. So that's something that goes on with my uh, ma with my mom. Now, as far as hearing sounds and things or seeing things, I haven't had anything like that. For me, for some reason, it relates to smells. That's always been my thing. And my grandmother has come through on warnings on I don't know how many times. So a lot of times when I smell certain things like that, I'm like, oh, what are you warning about? And I'm scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway, those are my paranormal experiences. Um, if you have some as well, please share them. Please post them. And I hope some of my insights help you too. All right, so this is Angel Writer Speaks signing off. Bye-bye.